Here is the task for the I-type instruction. Similar to the R-type task, the local task variables have been declared here. You can see here. Since in I-type instruction, what happens? The operation happens between the operand 1 and a constant immediate value. Here instead of op2, I have declared one in my, which is 12-bit in size. And then I have declared one more variable that is i in my my, which is 32 bits. Okay, so this is as per the ISO format. Now the opcode has been set to the relevant value for the I-type instruction. I have randomized op1 to a random value. I have used dollar random and with a constraint of 16 I have given. Function 3 I have initialized to 0. I have set the RS1 address to 2. Now the im i, if you look at that also I have randomized to a random value you can see here where I am using the constraint to the power 10. And the destination register address has been set to an address value 5. Now, as per the ISO standard, the IMMI has been calculated. Now let me show you what is the equation for the immediate for I-type instruction as per the standard. So as per standard, the formula is, it is a sign extension of immediate 11 down to 0. So let's see how it has been applied here. So we are checking here the 11th bit of IMMI. If it is true, then I'm going to concatenate the 12 bits IMMI. Along with that, I'm performing a sign extension that is 20 times 1 tick D1. So that it is replicated 20 times all once that makes it a 32 bit value. If the sign bit is 0, that is IMMI 11 bit is 0, we will go to the false part where I'm concatenating IMMI with a 20 bit extension to 0 and that makes a 32 bit value okay so this is how the IMMI has been calculated after that I'm writing the operand 1 value to the RS1 location of the register file I'm asserting the instruction is ready in and then I'm checking the operation if the operation matches with any of this parameter constant the relevant operations are going to take place let me explain one among them Suppose the operation matches with or i, that is or immediate. Then function 3 I am setting to 110 as per the standard. Result operation is op1, I am oring with the immediate value. And the string cmd command I am changing to or I am setting to or i. Similarly, all the operations logic I have written here. After that, now I am generating the actual instruction where I am concatenating the relevant fields like immi, then RS1, function 3, RD of code. This is as per the ISO format for I type. And the next cycle process after T hold time, I'm going to compare now the actual result coming from the duty with the expected value. So result underscore out is coming from the ALU, which I'm comparing with result type, which I have calculated in my test finish task. If that doesn't match, right, if they're not equal, it will display like the instruction I type is not working. It will also display the time at the time of error and the message fail will be displayed. If there's a match, means if the results are equal, it will display the I type instruction is working perfectly. And we're also displaying the program counter is byte addressable. So I'm displaying the IM adder out. So we're expecting PC to be PC plus four. And also I'm displaying the operands op one immediate, the result I and the result underscore out. And then we are making the instruction I study into unknown and then we are giving the relevant delay so that the next input changes before the next cycle process within set up time. So the same approach we will apply for the next few tasks as well. The next instruction is the J type instruction. First I am going to cover jump and link type. I have declared the task here as JL underscore type underscore INST. Now here I have declared the task local variables that is opcode which is again 7 bits. The immediate constant here is now 20 bit as per the J type instruction. RD is the destination register address and I have declared a 32 bit IMMJ which is going to act like the constant for J type. Then I have initialized opcode the relevant value for the J type instruction. The immediate constant which is 20 bits I have taken as 20 tick D12. This I have done to make sure that the last two bits are maintained as 0, 0 to avoid misaligned instruction. So I have set it to 12. The RD value I have set it to 6. 
then I'm asserting instruction x ready in then I'm calculating the IMJ value based on equation as per the J type instruction so you can see here as per J type it should be sine extension of immediate 20 down to 1 which is further concatenated with 1 tick B0 okay so let's see how it has been applied here so I'm checking here if the 20th bit is high so I'm concatenating immediate 20 down to 1 with 1 tick B0 and you're performing a sign extension for 11 times that makes it 32 bits so if it is false so I'm extending 1 tick B0 11 times that makes it 32 bit again then I'm calculating the instruction input as per the ISS standard you can see here and then we are checking the output at the relevant time that is T hold. Now coming to J type instruction, if the instruction is successfully done, the RD value that the destination data should be equal to PC plus 4 and the instruction address basically should be PC plus immediate. This time it should not be PC plus 4 because the jump instruction, right? So here I put a condition, I'm checking if RD in is not equal to PC plus 4. So this I'm using a path hierarchy concept. I'm capturing the value from the relevant module. So RD in is from the integer file. PC plus 4 reg out is from the reg 2. If they do not match, we will display the instruction is not working, the error at time and a fail message. Now suppose this has matched. Again, I'm checking what if the instruction address doesn't match with PC plus immediate and again a fail message will be displayed. If both the conditions are false, that means there is a match, then finally it will display the jump and link type instructions working perfect and I'm displaying the RDN value and the PC plus 4 value that should match. Also I'm displaying the PC plus immediate and the IM adder out value, they also should match. Okay, so this is how you can declare a task for jump and link type instruction. The next instruction is jump and link reg type. The task structure is almost similar to jump and link type to some extent. Let me explain here the changes done in this task. So here the immediate value is 12 bits instead of 20 bits as per jump and link. And I have initialized the opcode value as per the relevant opcode value. In my I have set it to 12 that is I have kept the value same RD have set it to 7 and here I have declared a variable RS1 which is 5 bit that is address of the source on register which I'm setting it to 2 then after asserting instruction x ready in I'm calculating IMMJ1 that is the immediate constant for the jump and link reg as per the equation given over here so you can see here for jump and link reg the equation if you look at it is sine extension of immediate 11 down to 0 so based on that the equation has been calculated over here okay and then I'm generating one more variable rs1 underscore out which is 32 bit I'm randomizing it and that value I'm performing a part select 31 down to 2 and I'm concatenating 2 tick b00 to make it 32 bits and that I'm writing to the register file location rs1 now why we are doing it we will see later and then instruction input is generated by concatenating mi rs1 function 3 should be 3 tick b000 which i have kept rd comma of code and next cycle t hold time it's time to compare the results so when it comes to jump and link rig again the rd in should be equal to pc plus 4 which i'm checking here if it is not equal a fail message will be displayed if it is equal then it goes and check for the instruction address and that should be equal to rs1 plus immediate so this is how i'm checking the condition over here if this is not equal again a fail message will be displayed when both the conditions are false that means when the matching has taken place we are going to display the jump and link reg type instruction is working perfectly we are displaying the rd in and the pc plus 4 values also we are displaying the rs1 plus immediate and the im adder out okay so this is how we can declare the task for jump and link reg and here one more thing since uh, in jump and link reg if you look at 
as per the instruction pc should be rs1 plus immediate now this rs1 value is basically the 32 bit data from the register file that is what i'm trying to set over here at this point if you look at here i'm writing the rs1 value to that particular location okay so i will make sure that to i mean to make sure that there is no a misaligned address we are appending the last two bit with 00, zero. so that is why we are doing this okay so this is all about the jump and link reg instruction type the next instruction is the load upper immediate type instruction in the load upper immediate type instruction let's see how to create the task here the task variables have been declared which are opcode in my which is 20 bit RD which is 5 bit and the immediate for upper immediate is 32 bits. I have set the opcode value to the relevant opcode value you can see here. In my has been randomized RD have set to 8 then I have asserted instruction it's ready in and the instruction input has been generated by concatenating in my RD and opcode and here as per the formula I'm calculating IMMU that is IMMI you have to concatenate 12 bits which is 0 this is what I can see here so based on this formula the MU has been calculated and then I'm waiting for two clock cycles and then I'm checking whether the register file location RD is equal to IMMU or not that is as per the instruction because if you look at the standard during load upper immediate, the destination register should have the value IMMU. If it doesn't match, it will display a fail message that instruction is not working. If it doesn't match, it will display it is working perfect. It is going to display the register file data at the location RD and the IMMU value. It should match. Okay. So this is how we will generate the task for load upper immediate.